please introduce yourself and tell us what you do. Ah, uh, my name is Sarah Avle. I am an assistant professor at uh, the University of Massachusetts Amherst. Um, I study the design and uses of digital technologies, um, mainly in parts of Africa, China, and the US. So I think about who's collaborating with who to make digital technologies, how it's being used, and to what effect. As a researcher, yes. what has been the experience like being on this panel, first as a moderator and mm. as a contributor, and also sitting there with people who have Ghana's tech future in mind and at heart? Well, I mean, I wish we had more time, right? That's my first thing, because we put, we put them on two panels for a reason. Um, there's a lot to say about the research. As you heard, everybody's doing really interesting work. Um, so I would have loved for the researchers to unpack more of their work. And then the practitioners are in different sectors too, right? So it would have been great to hear more. But I, I think we, we managed to rally, <laughs> right? We had a conversation of some sort. Um, and the conversations have continued. I, I don't know if you caught it in the background, but uh, experts were talking to each other. And it was, you know, so on that level, I think it was successful. Um, and hopefully when we meet people, they'll also talk about it. So we can put this video out, right? And, and generate conversation about technologies um, and Ghana, Ghana being at the crossroads just mean to, to us, it means, you know, where, where does Ghana go? The fact that this technology doesn't mean we have to use it in the same way that other people are using it, right? So we have to be mindful and critical and thinking about how can we use technology for Ghana's good in a way that benefits everybody, not just, you know, elites or, you know, people or people like me who are in academia already. You know, we need to include everybody. So how does technology lift everyone up? Because it's possible. But it can be done by itself. Technologies amplify whatever is underlying in society. So if we as a society decide that we want a more inclusive, more beneficial society, that's how we will use technology, right? But if we decide that we're going to keep fighting each other or whatever, then that's how technology will be used to look at around the world. It's being, technology can be used anyhow. So <laughs> it's up to us as Ghanaians to be mindful and critical about how we include technology in our media, in our daily lives, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera.